Hi and welcome back to the channel and uh, we're back having a look at this four wheel battery electric loco that we've been building. Yeah. Can you remember when the last time was we looked at it? No. Yeah I don't think we've done anything on it since Christmas so it's been a long time hasn't it? We've yeah. we've had holidays obviously school holidays since then but we've not had um, any chance really to to do anything with it so we thought we'd um, we've done a little bit so far this this summer holiday and we thought we'd just kind of show you where we're at and explain um, that things have not necessarily gone right have they? No. So, let's show you where we are first. So, as you can see, it's come on quite a long way since last time, hasn't it? It's um, now all painted. Uh, we've even got, look, wasp stripes. Were they fun? Yeah, they were lovely. They look good, don't they? So, um, yeah, so um, we've got wasp stripes at the front. We've got wasp stripes at the back. Um, one of the things you may have noticed is that we've actually we actually took the... The coupling blocks off. Um, I peeled them off with a with a knife. They were only stuck on with with the wood glue. Um, we decided, obviously, that um, we'd originally put them on. They're, they're here, these wooden things. We'd put them on, hadn't we? Um, and painted them yellow when we sprayed everything. But obviously, with wanting to do the wasp stripes, they were they were in the way. Um, but what what happened before we got to the wasp stripes? You remember? You remember? That you messed up. I messed up, didn't I? Yeah. So um, we got we we'd had a bit of a problem with the yellow paint. So the yellow paint is a lovely colour, um, but what we found was that it doesn't necessarily cover well across different surfaces. So where we'd had um, on on the edges here, where we'd got putty, um, I think in the last video there's still putty before we'd sanded it back. Um, you could still see the putty through the paint even after a couple of. Um, of rounds of, of, of layers of paint, couldn't you? Um, so we, we gave it we gave it a couple of goes paint, and we decided that in fact, in most of the places um, down these seams, it wasn't a problem because if you remember, um, we're going to attach these pieces. Um, there were some wooden versions of these, but these are actually three D printed um, parts. They're going to go kind of on the edge here, uh, which covers up the seam, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and we decided it was a, wasn't a problem, so we touched up a few of the little bits and pieces. So there's a pieces here uh, where there's where there was some putty shown, but we touched them all up and we thought it was okay. So one day, didn't we? You were at school, I think, still yeah. or, or out <coughs> somewhere. Yeah. I decided I'd sit down and I'd start masking up um, for these wasp stripes. And there'll be a bit of detail in another video. Uh, I might do another video explaining roughly how I did those those stripes. But um, I started to mask up, and what I managed to do was damage the paint on the front. Um, I, I just I made some big scratches. It's already a bit mucky um, from handling now, but um, I, I put some big scratches in the paint, so I had to redo it. Only um, I didn't think it through, did I? No. No. Um, I don't know if I've got any photos. I think I, I can't remember if I took any photos. If I did, I'll put them up somewhere here-ish. Um, and so what I'd done was I'd got, I'd got the masking tape on for the stripes, um, and I damaged up this top half here. So I thought, well, I'll just gently rub it back and then I'll spray some more yellow over the top and it won't be a problem. But what I didn't think about was the fact that I'd got bits of masking tape that came up here-ish. Yeah. Where it was, was well below where I'd damaged and it shouldn't have been a problem, but I sprayed the whole front yellow, uh, which meant that when I then thought about it afterwards and it had dried, um, I'd got marks in the paint all the way up here where I'd got the bits of, um, of masking tape. So it was raised up areas. Um, and lines in the in the paint um, so I had to rub the whole thing uh, back down in the end <clears throat> to try and avoid all the other problems with the yellow paint and the see-through uh, I rubbed it down completely uh, we sprayed it with some grey primer didn't we <coughs> and then we sprayed it with the yellow again um, and then we had some other problems the yellow paint on the back here it, it I don't know whether it was the end of the tin or what but it went all fuzzy and bubbled um, it was almost like it was fizzing um, so again, so you can still see it well, this inside, yeah, I'm not quite sure. This inside, I think, is where we just not rubbed down the original paint very oh. well. But we'll hide that because we'll hide that with the figure and some and, and, and some stuff later. But um, yeah, so this thing got rubbed down, these edges here got rubbed down and touched in. Um, if you remember, the paint we're using is the demonic yellow. <clears throat> if I can just reach for it, it's this uh, demonic yellow um, army painter color primer, um, which also comes in a matching little dropper bottle and they are a perfect colour match to each other um, so where we've needed it we've we've touched in um, touched in some paint um, you also can see that we've since last time we've painted the lid um, we've had to do some filing to get it so that it fits perfectly 
but it does it does fit one pop um so you can see we do get a little bit of overspray on the motor on the inside but i don't think that's going to cause too much problems it's um, really smooth yeah the top's yeah. quite smooth isn't it that's because yeah. we've that's because this one got sanded down really well and primed and, and puttied and puttied again yeah so this seam. is so this is the seam here got puttied because the two pieces of wood were joined together and there was a big gap so we had to putty it and then spray it yellow yeah if we turn it over you can kind of a bit see underneath so, well it's, it's a bit difficult to see actually but yeah it's two pieces of um laser cut mdf but butted together at the top um to make the roof you can just about see the join in that in that shot there um so yeah so we did some putty on the top didn't we um but it's a quite a tight fit when you first build it and as soon as you start adding layers of paint it becomes a very tight fit so you can see i've i've sanded back these pieces here where the paint had got on and i've also sanded um you can <coughs> kind of see here a kind of a bevel um on the inside of both edges just enough so that there's a bit more clearance so when you put it in it fits nice and tight Oops. it fits nice and tightly um, and goes in but it will actually then kind of it doesn't take much effort to get it to lift out so that you can get it out when I first did it I had to get a knife in the gap and lever it up um, which was a bit more of a problem um, so yeah so the next thing is what we're going to do next um, I think we're going to put um um, these on yeah and um, the front and the back yeah and um, then make a figure and oh yeah we haven't we haven't got a sides. figure yet I don't actually know if I've got a figure in stock but what we're gonna have a look at is the other 16 millimeter scale figures we've got haven't we and see which yeah. one we <coughs> think works and we've also got these parts to put on as well so these were all the, the other 3d printed parts now in the kit there are there are parts with the X markings on but again um, I made some 3d printed versions so they've actually got kind of raised detail uh, i'm not sure yet we need to do something with the one on the right is the control panel um for the back of the battery box it needs painting with a dial and stuff yeah. doesn't it? Okay. and a control handle and i don't know whether we're going to dry brush any of this to give a bit more no. detail are we going to do some gray dry brushing to pick out a bit of the black maybe maybe we'll see but that's where we are um and as i say i'll um i'll probably do a separate video on exactly how i did the the wasp stripes there's nothing there's nothing cl clever but there is a there was a new tool um, for me at least involved so I might do a, another video on that but hopefully it won't take us as long to get to the next video will it we're actually planning yeah. we're recording this fairly early in the morning aren't we and we're actually yeah. gonna plan on doing some more more of the train today so you said you wanted to finish it didn't you you have to actually answer rather than yeah. no, they can't see yeah. you yeah you wanted to finish it today so we might do that we might not will depend it depends on um, how far we get whether we have to wait for paint or glue to dry or or whether it's really nice and sunny and we have to go outside and do some i don't know biking or cricket or frisbee or something um but we'll see um but we definitely as i say we don't have a figure for it at the moment um so i'll have to have a look at one but i think as i said we ha have a in the other models so like the the hudson hunslet the um the motorized skip and the simplex that i've built in 16 millimeter before all have figures with it so we'll probably try one of those and see whether they're right or not um and then uh, and then have a look and work out which one we want if we want one of those or who wants something different um yeah so you can see roughly how it's going to go aren't you we'll have to careful of the paint we'll have to check exactly oh careful don't have to bash the camera uh we'll have to see exactly how they they fit in but it gives you an idea of how it's going to look doesn't it there you go so hopefully on the next video they'll be fitted and uh and we'll be able to see it um, potentially in use as you can see it's not um, the other thing I have to do obviously is the uh, electrics um, so I'll have to get out the soldering iron um, I had a bit of a panic I was using it for something else and it didn't turn power on my my, my lovely pencil that was a birthday present I think last year wasn't it um, yeah. soldering iron yeah. and um, <clears throat> it didn't turn on but I've, I've figured that out um, problem with the power supply I think no it was a father's day anyway um, so yeah so there we are um, that's where we're at actually some progress and hopefully some more progress today for another another video uh later on um might do more than one video in the week i don't know we'll see but thanks for watching you say bye bye, bye.